there's just politics everywhere now. Facebook, TV, news, radio, it's nonstop political, 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 and it's kind of getting a little old. Campaigns are now coming to you from your pocket. Local candidates and ballot measures are texting people to drum up support ahead of the midterm elections. Voters say the messages are unwanted, but Valley News team's Veronica Marshall finds out turning them off isn't so easy. Just days away from the midterm elections, and people are frustrated with all of the political propaganda. And there's one method in particular that everyone agrees crosses the line. If I didn't sign up for it, no, I don't want your political ads on my phone. They're annoying because I'm working and I don't need that kind of stuff on my phone. It's already coming through social media, so I think it's a little bit much. From local candidates to measures on the ballot, unwanted political texts are going out. And while they may be unwelcome, they are usually completely legal. Generally, any opt-out or don't call me or any of those things don't apply to political campaigns. They can call you, they can knock on your door, they can do all sorts of things that would not be legal for a commercial enterprise to do. Minnesota's Secretary of State says by law, it's required to make a public information voter list available for political activities and elections. And if someone includes their cell phone number when they register to vote, that number goes on the list too. Experts say if voters try to legally stop campaigns from texting, they'll probably lose. I do not remember any law that specifically prohibits texting. And if there was one, it would probably be thrown out as a infringement of free speech. But even though the law is on their side, local voters say campaigns may want to pause before they hit send. If I was on the fence and I got a text from someone and I hadn't asked for it, I probably would. That would put me to the other side of the fence. In Fargo, Veronica Marshall, Valley News Live. There may be one way to remove your cell phone number from the public information voter list. Minnesota's Secretary of State says you can re-register to vote, and this time without listing your cell phone number.